Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. I am Corinne Clemens. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for following me. This right here, right now, is Clemens. Kareem in the morning. Okay, at this time, I will run my disclaimer. This channel and these videos are not meant for children under the age of 13. Omega Studio News and Talk Show T content warning over the age of 18. Okay, so welcome. It is November the 11th, 11, 11, 2021. And I'm so excited and so should you. Happy Veterans Day to you out there. This is Kareem in the morning. So before I start off with this, uh, with this uh, breaking news, I would like to start off with uh, breaking news in social media. New York City jury clear Jay-Z, billionaire Jay-Z and breach of contract suit brought by the perfume company. So Jay-Z has just now been exonerated, clear of all charges. Uh, Jay-Z uh, is uh, 51 years old and he has a birthday coming up very soon, December the 4th. And I can say that that's the breaking news right here, right now. So I can clear that off because that's a lot. I'm talking about that. Okay. So anyway, um, so yeah, so shout out to Jay-Z. All right. So uh, before I move on, I would like to touch more on this morning on the breaking news that is happening across the country where a lot of people are now still talking about the Travis Scott concert that happened where people were killed there at a major, major, they said like, it was like, maybe like, I think they said like 30,000 people, 40,000, probably more. But I, I think, um, I believe that I heard or read that so many people was there. It was too, to the point that you were like huddled together like this, right? And you couldn't move your arm, you couldn't move your legs, you couldn't move nowhere. But I'm saying those people who purchased those tickets, listen, I mean, we're coming out of a pandemic. My thing is, what would you least, what would you expect? You feel me? What are you going to expect when you know that thousands of people are going to come out of their homes? Uh, they're going to come to a concert first, it was already canceled before. So, you know, now it's like, boom. So here's the news that's happening right now. Travis Scott to refund Astro World attended, I guess, the, 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 the tickets. And he's going to pay for the funeral service of the people who died at the festival. So right now we do know that uh, Travis Scott the America rapper 
is basically refunding all the people who was at the Astro World uh, uh, Fair that happened on that day. So Scott says, who is listed as a headliner Saturday during three day festival in Las Vegas Festival Grounds? Uh, he is definitely, definitely going to pay for the eight people who died in this uh, deadly, deadly, deadly uh, event. Now, I can tell you that the Houston police chief said that a few people started going down at 9.30 p.m. He said that the officials told the producers that what was happening and that the show ended about 8, 10, 10 p.m. And I remember seeing some videos on Twitter where they were saying, you know, uh, 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 there was this girl who was trying to go on stage and she was like trying to get the, the attention of the cameraman. And basically, um, you know, he was like shocked. How the hell are you? Why the hell are you up here? And, you know, get down. What's going on? And I'm, I'm sure he couldn't really hear because it's like so much going on, the audio and stuff. But my thing is this. Um, I also seen another video that uh, basically showed where he was like on the stage and he said that somebody passed out or whatever. And I think by that time, the damage was already done. Okay. So, yes. Yeah, so he is going to pay for the funeral services of the people who passed away on that day at the festival. And he's going to refund all the money. That is uh, that needs to go out to the people who attended. Now I don't know if he made any money from that. Uh, perhaps he probably did, but there was like other people there. Like Drake was there. I seen the video with him there. So um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I, I just know that you know people died there, and the videos that I seen, it was like a mess. It was a mess. It was a mess. Okay, so we actually on the blog page, and I want to encourage people to go up on a blog page. But before we go up on a blog page, oh, as you guys can see it right here, uh, I want to say shout out to the Omega Studio News and the platform. Remember Radio 911, the session. There is no more Pretty Bitch Club uh, that uh, is gone off of Facebook. Uh, live at 9 Thursdays, Sheeny Sundays. House of Workouts on Instagram, What I See, You See, What's Going On in America, Jury View, Omega Studio News on Facebook, Ghetto Kitchen on Facebook, and also Jury View and Talk Show T. And the session is on Facebook, Facebook group. You guys can go up there. You can follow me on um, Instagram. Also, Twitter at Omega Studio News, Facebook, of course, and also YouTube, right? And uh, I'm going to drop the banner at the bottom. And if you would like to support the show and donate for the cause, you can donate at my cash app. That's Chicken Thug. Thank you all for your support. All right, so this is Kareem in the morning. So, yeah, real quick, I'm just going to talk about how uh, this Sunday or where well, this Sunday is uh, – Sunday, but Saturday the 13th, Clemens Medical Center, all new season four episode, no, season two, episode four. Welcome to Project Hospital, Clemens Medical Center, Cold Blue, looking over the hospital with some of the critical patients. Now, if you guys want to go up on the uh, page, we'll be live on the page, the blog page. This is the blog page right here. You guys can go up there. And I am doing season two of Clemens Medical Center. Now, Clemens Medical Center, you guys wanted it. It is out every Saturday at eight o'clock. Now, I am right now, uh, and I don't know if TST TV has this, but we're going to go ahead and discontinue or call it a season finale on episode 10. Okay, so that's episode 10. And we're going to push it because what i want to do is i have a new game and this is i'm talking to all my youtube gamers out there for youtube um i have a new game coming out and this game is called city state 2. you guys asked for it 
I'm going to actually be doing some broadcasting of that today. And I'll be putting that up there. Matter of fact, I don't want to do a live broadcast. I actually want to do a live broadcast of the, the show City State just to uh, show you guys the game. And matter of fact, I'm going to do it live on TST. No, 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 no. Omega Studio News because that's where we've been showing the first 15 minutes, which you guys can peep this out here. Uh, the first 15 minutes that go down every 15 minutes prior to the show. So there will be a 15 minutes to this premiere that goes down on TST TV on YouTube. And if you're not a subscriber on TST TV, go up there, subscribe, and definitely, definitely uh, get your like because Clinton's Medical Center, watch out now, it's here. All right. So yeah, so basically, uh, I can tell you in the game, I real quick, I am on the verge of closing the hospital. That's what I'm doing. I'm closing Clemens Medical Center only because the, the, the hospital is not complete. What I want to do is I want to get every patient out of the hospital healed, you know, and out. Now, I turned off the uh, insurance company. So the insurance company, we don't accept anybody. We don't take any patients. Nobody's coming in. So that's the thing. Now, since I've done that, my prestiges have gone, gone up. Procedures have gone up, and uh, some of the departments that are in the hospital, we have a lot of departments like uh, orthopedics. This is some of the departments right here, emergency department, radiology department, orthopedics, oncology, cardiology, ICU, and so on. Those departments can now focus on, I'm talking about the nurses and doctors, they can now focus on their patients in the hospital. And since the last time I checked on episode five, there was like three or four patients in the hospital. So, in like the departments. So, what's going to happen is I'm going, once when they're all healed and, and, and they're out, I'm going to close down the emergency room. I'm going to close down all the departments. And then when they're closed down, that means perhaps the nurses, doctors are going to get fired and they're just going to be out. So when that season end, when this season two ends on episode 10, it's going to go, I'm going to fix the hospital up. I'm going to fix it up. And then on season three, which will come out later on, probably new year, the end, end, of, end of the year, beginning of the new year, uh, the whole hospital is going to be fixed up. All the floors, everything's going to look nice or whatever. And, you know, we'll just open up the hospital again for season three. So that sounds like a plan. Now, I know people in the chat room was like, well, what's the hot, hot topic? What's the question? You know, they wanted to know. They even took a poll on it. And I was like, wait a minute. You guys took a poll on what I am going to show you guys in a video. Like, it's there. You guys are going to see it on this episode premiering in two days. That is on the 13th of this month, Saturday. Okay, so right here, right now. But yeah, I did get rid of the blood only because the fact is the only reason I got rid of the blood is because when you when the patient is going and they're going to, like say they're coding in ICU and they got to go to the trauma or they code in cardio and they don't have a diagnosis and they go to, to uh, the ER, every place they take the patient, the blood is going everywhere. And the janitor is like, Nowhere to be found. And I'm like, wait a minute, like, what's going on? But that's another story. Guys, go up there, check out episode three, two, and one. It is on TSC TV on YouTube. Okay. Or you guys can just come up here on the blog page and it's definitely here. Get your life. All right. So happy Veterans Day. If I haven't said it already, I believe I did. Happy Veterans Day on 11 11 21. I remember it was 12 12 12. I remember when it was 10, 10, 10. I remember when it was 9, 9, 9. Yeah. Today is 11, 11, 21, baby. Veterans Day. All right. So uh, the blog page is loading. Come on. Come on, blog page. All right. While that's loading, we're definitely, definitely see on other news. If you guys have not... Um, seen already. Now, I want to show you guys this. 
Now, let's go back to the blog page. When you come to the blog page and y'all come over here, because this is a lot that you can interact in. Like I have Punctual T, TSTO, Mega City, and I want a 911 news station. This basically is going to get updated very soon because it's going to um, show the different programs that we put on really, really late at nighttime. American Truck Simulator, all my uh, fans out there, the session, blog talk, you guys can go up on Drew Review and the session up on Facebook. That's a group page. Your review is up there as well. And Instagram. Now, Instagram people, uh, I have not brought this up, but Instagram is now interact in the uh, on the page. So you guys can go up on the Instagram. And if you guys don't want to go up on Instagram, Instagram, you guys can go up on the blog page, look at my Instagram. And these are just some of the because I love Madison. Yeah, I love Madison. Yeah, I'm in love with Madison. Yeah. Uh, Matthias Madison, the Queen Supreme Court jury. I already, matter of fact, I've actually have that video did not even drop yet. But since we're talking about it right now, um, since we're talking about it right now, from what I've heard from T.S. Madison's mouth, the Queen Supreme Court bitch less dish is over, like is done, and you know. I, I, I want to talk about it real quick. And matter of fact, let's do this real quick. While we're on uh, Kareem in the morning, we're going to actually do Madison Mob News. Many Mob News right here, T.S. Madison News. Since we're here, we see it here. Uh, T.S. Madison has said that they're, the Queen Supreme Court is over with in Bishless Dish. I guess that's over with because we haven't really seen anything. We already know that the Battle of the Bench 1 and 2 that's over with. We already know that the uh the 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 people who were picked was Funky Dineva and the real Miss Sophia. So we know that those are the final judges. They went on, did their thing. Now we have not really seen anything else from T. S. Madison on the Queen Supreme Court. And we haven't really seen anything with David K. Price and T. S. Madison on Bitch Let's Dish. So maybe Bay just went back to sleep and boom. So now we know. We have Maddie in the morning, and then we have, uh, you know, we have the Instagram for T.S. Madison. But listen, ladies and gentlemen, I came to love T.S. Madison, and then I came to love Kaya. They had the Queen's Court together. That's how I fell in love with the Queen's Supreme Court. That's how I became a fan with T.S. Madison. Now, the things that happen and things that's being said online, my thing is this. Matter of fact, I'm going to post that video online and I'm going to, because uh, I really spoke some words about T.S. Madison. And I want to post that video because these are very inspirational words. And I just really can't really tell you these words now. It's only in the video. But my thing is this. Well, however, my thing is this. Madison is, she got her hands full, okay? We do know that she's out there doing movies and she's out there doing movie after movie after movie and that's what's up. Now, listen, my opinion and opinions that are stressed on all the platforms of the Omega Studio News and Tokyo T are just my opinions only. What I say is my opinions. Don't knock me, all right? Sometimes when I'm delivering these messages, is coming to you. I'm just the messenger. You probably heard that. Don't knock the messenger. All right. So listen. The word on the street is that the the reason why the Queen Supreme Court may not be in production right now is because some people are saying that the rights has been sold to WeTV. So maybe the rights has been sold. This is what I'm thinking. The rights has been sold. And then uh, Madison gave that up to WeTV. And then, boom, he can't produce it because they own it. Why? Because, number one, I've watched the T.S. Madison experience. I love the T.S. Madison experience. My thing with this is that when I was watching the T.S. Madison experience, I was seeing some things that I have already seen on T.S. Madison's page. You feel me? 
I've seen it already. Where I've seen it, I've seen it in the Queen's Supreme Court. You understand? Mostly all that stuff that, that was produced there. I was like, wait a minute, this is not nothing new. I've already seen this before. I've seen it. I've seen it already. The only thing that was new was more things of like in her home morally. And then with some with Tiffany Cole, who I love, bitch. Okay. And I love New York. Oh my God. I love that bitch. I love her. Shout out to you. I love you. Okay. Uh that scenes, uh, Miss Mary, Holy Ghost got me shout and tearing up my shoes. And also, you know, with her father and then her staff, you know, Chi Chi and Oliver and Legra. So my thing is this. I've seen some of those, I've seen some of that on there. So I was like, wait a minute. So then my mind just jumped back to the past when I came to fall in love with Noah's Ark. And, you know, Patrick and Polk, who wrote, uh, you know, Noah's Ark, and then they had the season one, season two, and everybody was like, well, why is the seasons not coming out? Why, why are these guys not working? You know, Ali, Ricky Chance, all of them. So we come to find out that um, Logo, Logo, owns it so it's almost like logo owns it and it's like you know they had all these stuff up on line and you know they couldn't do the show and they couldn't produce anything else because the rights had been sold and stuff so i'm like wait a minute we tv logo noah's ark the ts madison experience you can't produce anymore they can't produce anymore i'm like wait a minute what the fuck is going on then you know, for the many mob people, we've seen the swim pool, we've seen the basement, we've seen it. This is stuff that she's shown. I mean, this is stuff that's on social media. She is not a private person. She shows her stuff online. Is it on? It is on. Is this bitch recording? She shows it online. This is what she shows. This information is coming from online. T.S. Madison, Maddie Mob News. We are here for the shit. Okay, well, shout out to Tia, uh, shout out to Kelly Harris. Okay, I'm always here for the shit. Okay, so, but anyway, but yes, this is what she shows, and I'm just here being the messenger, updating you, telling you what it is. Okay, now, my thing is this if the rights has been sold, bitch, the rights has been sold. Some people, they do things because they need money and they need. We surviving every day. Just because you don't have a job, you still surviving. You're working. You're working, you're working, you're working. Okay? Now, the job physically out there getting a check, I'm talking about working, being a person of who you are, being a human being, that's working. Being alive, that's working. Surviving, that's working. Getting up in the morning, that's working. Going to sleep and doing what you need to do the next day. Grinding, hustle, bustle, that's working, bitch. Okay? So... Madison is working, okay? She's working and she's getting her coins, yet, let, yet alone the residual income, which I love that, okay? The re residual income that she's getting. And this is what people don't understand. They are mad because they're not getting that residual income themselves. They're mad because they're not doing the physical act, okay? She says she just wrapped up box office, big hit movie, on the big screen okay and got media production coming very soon so just because we don't see the queen supreme court and just because we don't see bitch like this we have the videos and archives to motherfucking watch so go get your life go up there and watch it the ts madison experience right on amazon 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 prime pay for it support ts madison and support people that you want to see more content from. And I can say, listen, when I say support, you can do the cash app, you can click, you can share, you can comment, you can talk about it. That's all supporting it, okay? Just because you don't have the money, you don't have to necessarily pay the money, you have to necessarily pay the Patreon, you have to necessarily pay the cash, you have to necessarily pay the OnlyFans. You can do it by commenting, comment, like, and sharing and viewing. Okay, that is your support if you ain't got a little bit of money in your pocket and got the support and the money wise. Okay, but yes, I just had to get that off my chest. So for all the people who have been asking me, the TS Madison, they, uh, uh, Madison and the uh, Queen Supreme Court and Bishlet Dish, listen, 
If you want more news, go follow at The Real Kids Madison. Go follow her on Instagram. Go follow her on, on Twitter. Go follow her on Facebook. And definitely, definitely watch her on Facebook, Maddie in the Morning, because she definitely gives the scoop on all the 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 um the the shit okay oh okay 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 so let me just add this in so yes we do know that the after dog ts madison after dog has been canceled okay refunds are being sent out it has been canceled from T.S. Madison's mouth, she said that she is going to wait until after the holidays. Okay, she's going to wait until after the holidays to do it because I guess that's what she wants to do. You can't get mad at her if she wants to do that. That's what she wants to do. Okay, and we just have to wait for it next year. But right now, I can tell you that I've already said what I've said about it rewind go back and listen to it so this right here that's this is maddie mob news okay and right here on cream in the morning Okay, so as I was saying, uh, as you can watch or you can see me on Instagram on the blog page, but you know you can go up here and you can watch it. Also, too, let me just come down here to the podcast. Now, listen, ladies and gentlemen, if uh, the podcast is now starting up, and the podcast which I love because it, 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 it puts it all on the platforms, and I just thought that it just went on one platform, but which was SoundCloud. Guys can go on SoundCloud and, and listen to it, but it goes on all of them. I'm talking about iHeartRadio. It also goes right here on the blog page. Okay, yes, iHeartRadio. I am on iHeartRadio. Uh, let me just go ahead and put this up here. This is Kareem in the morning. So let's go ahead and show me on iHeartRadio, but you guys can go up here and uh, subscribe to. Your Mega Studio News and Talk Show T. Now, here definitely, which I did not know. I was like, wait a minute. I was like, how is this going to work? Because I thought it was going to SoundCloud again. The SoundCloud, which I'm not really understanding. I thought everything was intact, but when you update stuff, when you update a lot of stuff, those things show that the programs that are already intact with the program needs to update so i think since i wasn't using it everything just logged off and i'm talking about the uh facebook i'm talking about, and they updated themselves too they twitter updated instagram updated so and i was like wait a minute so i don't know i'm not really sure i'm not gonna say soundcloud didn't update soundcloud soundcloud didn't update but i'm sure they really did pretty did pretty much did so um i just um Send over to SoundCloud. And then when I looked over at iHeartRadio, I was like, wait a minute, bitch. It went up on iHeartRadio. And then when I looked up on SoundCloud, it was there. And then when I looked up on the um the blog page, it was there. But you guys go up to iHeartRadio. You guys can listen to it. I'm going to be putting more episodes up there. This episode will probably be up there, hopefully. But it's probably too long because it's like 30 minutes. But I only get 15 minutes time up there. But I'm definitely, definitely going to do it. Okay? I'm going to do it. Do it, bitch. Okay. All right. So this is Kareem in the morning. Yes. Thank you guys so much for being here. No, I didn't want that. <laughs> um, thank you guys for being here so much. I'm gonna go ahead and end this process right here. For more information, you guys can the blog page. Have a good one.